guys, it's Jessie V. And as you can tell by the title of today's video, today I'm talking about the Grinch. I feel like I should try and say it like him. The, the, the. The Grinch. That was a really flattering face right there. So yes, this is gonna be a very creepy Grinch story. I have done a couple other Grinch videos on this channel before that have been more based around the movie itself, like the movie scenes, the characters and stuff like this. But today's video is going to be about a girl who went missing after watching the Grinch VHS tape, which is obviously very terrifying. And today I had to wear my Grinch sweater. Okay, I'm always on theme here. And I love how there's a little pom-pom right there, but it makes it very difficult to put in the washing machine, okay? Wouldn't recommend, but it looks really awesome. <laughs> Before I get started though, I just want to announce that we have our Christmas mystery boxes out right now. They actually went out a week ago and I hadn't even put out an unboxing video and we've already sold out of half. So you guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. And yes, once again, we have three golden tickets hidden somewhere amongst these boxes. One golden ticket is for you to be in a virtual collab with me on this channel. Another one is for a personalized video from me, and another one is for a letter and signed art print from me. Once again, I'm Willy Wonka with the golden tickets. This is an exclusive box because we have more items in this box than we've ever done before. First, we have our little snowflake palm pal. Are you kidding me? I love palm pals. They're so cute, and I love how they sit on any surface. I mean, look at his little face. How can you deny him? Okay, you guys know I love hot chocolate, okay? It's my favorite drink ever. So we have two hot chocolate lip glosses and guys they're actually mini cups. Are you seeing this? So to put the hot chocolate on your lips you just take off the lid just like you would when you're drinking hot chocolate and there's two different scents slash flavors. This one is peppermint hot cocoa and this one is your traditional hot cocoa. I personally like the peppermint the best but you're gonna have to see which one you get. Then we have a little snowflake lantern that does turn on. It's gonna be hard to see when my lights aren't off but it's not just a lantern it actually projects an image onto your surface so I'll try and use this box for an example but do you see the snowflake on there it's so cool so depending on where you put it in your house it projects this giant snowflake our Jesse V item in this box is the V team socks so it's hard to see but it does say V team there and then it has the Jesse V logo and it's literally snowing pizza I designed these socks myself because <laughs> I love pizza I love winter so why not combine them both then we have the legend of the snowflake ornament. This is such cool packaging because it has the front, it's all metallic, and then you open it up and you can see your beautiful snowflake ornament. And it says each snowflake has its own special qualities. So yeah, I just think this is absolutely beautiful. Then we have some beautiful snowflake clips, but they're extremely pretty. I love them too. And then another mystery item we have are our gnome earrings and they are adorable. I know the packaging makes it really hard to see on camera, but we have polka dot red, we have a snowflake one, we have a striped one, and I love these earrings so much. So yeah, this is the most we've ever had in our mystery boxes, so the price is slightly higher than other years, but, and a big but right now, it is currently Black Friday, which means that everything on the website is 25% off, including our mystery boxes. I don't think we've ever done that. The sale is gonna go from today all the way until Monday, so if you would like a mystery box, now is the time to get one. I will put a link down below in the description and also like I said everything else online is 25% off. All right guys so without further ado let's get right into today's video about the Grinch. This tragic story is about a little girl named Molly who was obsessed with the Grinch movie specifically the one from 2000 starring Jim Carrey and I also personally think that that movie is superior like it's better than all of the other Grinch movies but she would watch it every single year at least 10 times after it started snowing for the first time and it would drive her parents absolutely crazy. She knew every word and scene by heart. Her room was full of Grinch merchandise. Her bedspread had his face on it. Her pillows were green and fuzzy. She had posters all over her walls. It was safe to say that it was her favorite movie ever. By the way, we have Grinch hats and Grinch scarves on our website as well. I forgot to mention that. So I'm sure everyone has seen this movie or at least has heard of it or heard the song. You're a me one, Mr. Grinch. And like I said, I've made two or three Grinch movies over the past couple years, but just in case you've never heard of this and you're living on like planet Mars or something, let me give you a brief summary. The Grinch is a green creature with a heart two sizes too small who lives 
lives alone in a cave atop Mount Crumpet, located above the village of Whoville. He especially hates Christmas and has always been annoyed by the town's Christmas celebrations. One Christmas Eve, he finally decides to stop Christmas Day from coming to Whoville by disguising himself as Santa Claus, and he steals all the presents and decorations. Then he goes to the top of Mount Crumpet, ready to just throw them off the side of the mountain. When he hears the Who's in Whoville celebrating and still being happy even though they lost everything. So his heart grew ginormous, he brought everything back to them, and he celebrated with them. So it's like a heartwarming story. But let's get back to our story about Molly. One day she was walking through the neighborhood with her dad when they passed a garage sale, and sitting on a table right next to the sidewalk was a VHS tape of the 1966 Grinch. Now her father had this really old VHS tape player in his basement, so he asked her if she wanted to get the movie because she had never seen this version before. She was always watching the Jim Carrey version, which I understand, but her father wanted a break. Her mother wanted a break. <laughs> they wanted her to watch something else for a change. So she agreed and they took the movie home. She watched it two times in a row that evening and even begged to watch it one more time before bed, but her parents told her she needed to take a break, go to bed, and she can watch it again in the morning. While she was being tucked in by her mom, she looked outside her window and began to point at the forest outside their house and was jumping up and down on her mattress. When her mom asked her what she was pointing at, Molly said, The Grinch is out there. He's waving at me. I think he wants me to go say hi to him. So Molly's mother told her that there was nothing out there, but Molly replied with, Don't be silly. I saw his green hand out there. Her mom just shook her head and put her to bed, but the next morning they had a very heartbreaking discovery. Their daughter was gone. She was missing from her bed. Her bedroom window was wide open. So they called the police and got a search party together and they walked through the woods for hours calling out her name. They had never felt such fear before. Molly was missing for 36 hours and every hour felt like an eternity for her parents. They could not believe it when she suddenly showed up at the back door of their house, shivering, covered in snow. But what she told them next was even scarier. She said that in the middle of the night, she heard her name being called, and when she looked out the window, she saw the Grinch's green furry hand in the darkness of the forest. He was basically beckoning her to him. So she climbed out her window and wandered into the forest. She said the green hand kept appearing out from behind trees and kept getting farther and farther into the forest the longer she walked towards it, until she no longer knew where she was. She wasn't paying attention to where she was going. She was just enamored by this Grinch hand. She said the Grinch's hand was holding a beautiful shiny red ornament like he did in the movie, and she so desperately wanted to grab it, but she could never get close enough. And what's strange is that she never fully got a glimpse of the Grinch himself. She only ever saw his hand. She began to get scared that she was very lost, so she ran in the direction that she thought her house was. But it took her an entire day to find it. But now she was finally back home, being warmed up with a blanket. Her parents tried to explain to her that it was impossible that she actually saw the Grinch, but she was just convinced that she had, no one could tell her otherwise. Police went back to search through the forest for any clues, and after a few more hours, they came across a pair of bright green fuzzy mittens lying in the dirt. And they knew immediately in that moment that someone had been watching Molly for weeks. They knew that she loved the Grinch, and they tried to lure her out of her bedroom at night, wearing mittens the same color, the same texture, to look just like the Grinch that she knew and loved. He must have gotten spooked when police arrived and took off deeper into the forest, leaving behind all the proof they needed. And that is the end of this very creepy story. So this whole time that I was reading this, I was like, oh, it's actually like the Grinch. It's like a creepy creature version of him. But no, it was just a person trying to lure this kid out of her house. And I always say, sometimes people are scarier than any ghost or creature that you can think of. And it just makes the story more realistic. And I hope this never happens in real life. I do believe this is just fictional. I hope so at least. But it's still really creepy and I still wanted to tell it because I know that you guys love the Grinch. I love the Grinch. 
but at least it wasn't actually him. We love him. He didn't actually do this. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, if you would like to take advantage of our Black Friday sale from now until Monday, 25% off everything. I have linked it down below in the description, but I hope you have an awesome rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!